Always away, guys. Find an engine animal. My car, so bloody luckily, I've got a full um, container of radiator fluid in the back um, of the trailer. There is so. a tiny, tiny leak. But I'll give you a good hint, guys, um, for radiator leaks. If you've ever got any tiny leaks in your radiator, if you fill it up with, um, or not fill it up, get a little container of ground black pepper or normal white pepper, you open up the container, fill it up with, um, the, empty the whole container in with the pepper, and that will block up any holes in the radiator. So I think possibly I might have a little container of pepper in my car in the ute. I'll have a yes, quick I look. Yes, I do, guys. But knowing my luck, it'll be empty, and it's not. You bloody beauty, it's full. So this is the stuff, guys. If you ever go bush, go camping or whatever, always carry probably about two or three of these. You get a radiator leak. Um, you know, you might go through some spin effects, or a tree twig might go through the radiator. This will block up the hole, but obviously the hole has to be, you know, pretty small. So we'll put this in, let the radiator cool down, and we'll top that with the radiator fluid. There it goes, guys. I'm just about to open it. I shouldn't do it straight away, but I'm in a mad rush. <clears throat> Always away. People aren't as nice as what they used to be these days. I never stop to check to see if you're all right. Anyway, what I'm going to do is just release this slowly and just let the pressure out slowly. I have been burnt pretty badly before, a long time ago. Yeah, I'm just let that release the pressure. Very lucky guys, always make sure you carry Spare water, uh, distilled water is perfect for radiators. Rainwater, don't ever use normal tap water because it contains chlorine and obviously it'll rush your radiator. But always make sure you carry plenty of spares. So I'm pretty lucky. Last time now. this happened, guys, on exactly the same road, I didn't have no spare water. But I had to call a tow truck. They drove me about 20 k's back home and it cost me about buddy 400 bucks just for the tow about truck. Two minutes later, guys, that's um, catch ready to come off. But if ever does um, radiator have problems, guys, whatever you do, uh, up, have a good, good blanket or a canvas bag or just something nice and thick, and just slowly release that radiator. I'll take the cap off now because you'll get third degree burns, and I have had third degree burns before from a radiator burn a long time ago. When I was tra travelling up into. Northwest Australia and the Kimberleys. So anyway, we'll open up this pepper. So here goes, just this nice black ground pepper guys, or white pepper. Always carry spares. So that'll be my shopping list when I get to Katanning. Hopefully if there's no leaks, major leaks. Here we go. So, that looks pretty good to me guys. It's all full again now. Let's see if there's any leaks. I can hear water dripping. Alright guys, I reckon we should be alright now, so we'll take off, we've got about 40 k's to go to Katanning, so hopefully we'll get this.
As you can see the temperature is normal, had no worries, so the pepper definitely does help with, to stop any uh, small leaks. So always remember guys, carry a uh, couple of uh, powdered or some ground containers of uh, black or white pepper with you. Put it in your glove box and it might save you, or save you a lot of money one day. So I can guarantee you guys, a radiator, radiator is very expensive, especially for my Toyota Land Cruise. You're looking at paying about 700 bucks for a brand new or even a reconditioned radiator. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll get you home in about half an hour, and we'll go and release that snake. And then we'll head out to the local rubbish dump, and we're going to do a bit of dry glowing today. Just looking for marbles and I might get the metal detector out. See you. you right there, Cindy? Good girl. Yeah, they enjoy it.